Guess what? I'm on the go again. This time I'm traveling abroad for work experience. So finally I reached my home country. Looks really, really beautiful and the smell of nature is so strong. I'm literally using all means of transport. Planes, cars, trains, taxis to reach the capital Vilnius. Well, 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 so I arrived to Vilnius and we'll start working tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I'm starting my first day. This bus still exists. <laughs> Very, very environmentally friendly. Well, I just escaped Madrid with 37 degrees and here is at the moment 26. Met is really, really pleasant. Cannot wait to go to work. I don't know what to expect. I've been thinking a lot about it, but let's see tomorrow. This peacefulness and quietness, it's kind of rare now. It's just unbelievable that at 6 a.m. here is no one, literally no one. Uh, the city is still sleeping, but I take it as a massive, massive advantage. It's amazing. Before even entering the kitchen, the first job is a presentable look. So let's get the apron iron and move upstairs where the first job of the day is already waiting. Baking pastries. First on the list, Danish. Here they are done in a rectangular shape, traditionally egg brushed and filled with creme patisserie. Send them straight to the oven and after baking, putting some creme pat and topping with blue honeysuckle berries, which are in season right now in Lithuania. Just to make these danishes complete, we still brush them with napash. That's it, one pastry down. Let's move to the next one, which is a gorgeous mold bun. The reason I'm saying this is that even though it might look simple, it is truly delicious. Does Yudan make it so special? The filling or glaze? Not too sure, but let's go step by step. They are baked in the metal ring, so as soon as they get out of the oven, we brush them with syrup. Gently removing hot metal rings and cooling down. Once they are ready, we drizzle this creamy caramel sauce over and that is the final touch. The story with croissant is very straightforward. Proved and egg wash, they go into the oven. The egg wash is made out of egg yolk and cream, which gives kind of a glossier finish. While egg washing, I'm trying not to touch the layers of the pastry. Monkey bread is not a complicated pastry to make, but the beauty of it is that once played nicely with the interesting ingredients and combinations, you can elevate this to another level. This pastry is brushed with sea buckthorn syrup and topped with sea buckthorn marshmallow. Blow torch and serve straight away to the counter. Have you ever tried monkey bread like this before? Personally, I think it's the most beautiful monkey bread that I've ever seen. Cranberry bun is not everyday pastry here, however, Let's finish it off with sugar cream glaze and sprinkle dehydrated cranberries on top. That's quite simple, but goes really well with a cup of tea or coffee. Tart base has been prepared already, so today we just mix and fill with hazelnut frangipan and strawberries. Since strawberries are in season, the team couldn't ignore them and not incorporate them into seasonal menu. So these buns get baked into a metal ring, carefully removed and chilled. Later, swilled with strawberry jam and cream, topped with fresh strawberries and glazed with napash. Seasonal and local ingredients. Really lovely. Oh, Cruffin, the old good cousin of croissants. While they're still warm, we are demolding them and dipping into sugar. The filling changes from time to time, but today we're using creme pad and cherry jam. Towards the end of the morning baking, we bake and prepare for tomorrow more hazelnut croissants. You may ask, why not almond croissant? The whole concept of this bakery is that they prefer to use local ingredients grown in Lithuania as much as they can. So, for that reason, almonds are being replaced by hazelnuts. One last thing, sandwiches. They are made for special delivery, but not for getting local ingredients like curd cheese or pickles. 
after the morning bake everything gets reached on the counter, sent and delivered and every one of us get a job. I will prepare cream patisserie which is quite widely used here. So I whip up cream and milk separately in a pan. I also prepare gelatin to soak and leave butter on the side. Egg yolks get mixed with sugar and cornstarch. As soon as milk has brought to boil, let's temper it with egg yolk mixture. Pour back into the pan and boil till thickens enough. I transfer it in the gas to tray and chill completely. Once done, we whip it slightly and just to make life easier, we portion cream into piping bags and leave it in the fridge for tomorrow bake. Do you remember monkey bread topping? Just got my colleague making a marshmallow. With the help of this device, we can achieve a thin layer of marshmallow. This canales are quite special as it's done incorporating buckwheat flour. So flour can be bought from the local farmer or made here instantly. Then, once the mix is done, we move to another part where we coat the molds with burner Z and edible wax mix. Let them stay for a bit at room temperature and remove all liquid in one go. Some of them might have a thicker layer than others, so we'll put all of them in the oven. Remove the excess again and it should like this. Crucial part is done. Now let's fill them evenly and bake it till it's nicely brown. It is really nice that the whole team is leaving for lunch break, so we're taking some time to switch off and recharge the batteries to continue with the rest of Mise en Place. Laminated dough has been done by my colleague and now he's finishing it by showing me how they cut the dough. So we cut the sides off, divide it in half and start dividing the rest of it into rectangular cuts. By the way, trimmings won't be wasted, we will use a large portion of it for other buns. We will not need that amount of pastry, so we are saving them for an upcoming use. Since we saw how these buns look baked, let's have a look how they're made. The dough is being portioned and arranged on a tray, which will go to the fridge as it's quite soft. Have I ever told you that this particular job is my favorite? I'm sorry if I sound weird, but I find this job quite enjoyable. So time flies when you have fun. I'm ready to pass them through the lamination machine. So I cannot give too much explanation here, I'm just making sure they look neat and all are the same size. One of relatively quick job towards the end of the day is butter prep for tomorrow's lamination. So the butter comes in one large block, so divide it into two parts and before passing through the bricks, we flatten it with a rolling pin. Then a few passes and the butter block is done. We wrap it in a parchment paper and in case we see that we can improve the shape, we adjust it with a rolling pin. The dough has been handled by my colleagues, so now we're jumping all together to finish it. So first, preparing bread baskets. We're making different sizes, so arranging everything we need for today and jumping on folding breads. What I love about learning and knowing this kind of experience is that even though you get the same result, the process can be different, so I'm just trying to follow my fellow colleagues and finish all this dough. One by one, with six hands, we finish this quite fast. Now we fold the cloth one by one and leave it to rest till tomorrow morning.
12 hours has passed so quickly, so we all roll our sleeves up and rush to clean down. Pastry breaks, all the machinery, floor, fridges get cleaned, rubbish bag being taken out, making sure nothing has been left outside, and finally, finishing the day. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit uh, tired. I don't think I'm gonna do much today. I'm just uh, spending some time outside, trying to recover. Yeah, we'll go to bed uh, early today and I know for sure that I will have no issues to sleep today. Lithuania is all about nature, so no surprise that even in the heart of capital you find this peaceful park which could look like tens of kilometers away. Whenever you feel like you have a flu or you're a little bit cold, you drink this tea so you collect it now in July and you keep it for the whole year. Nature really recharges your battery and I just had like five minutes walk and I already feel like I can start my day again. Unfortunately, not trying to find more plans for today. Only laundry, a bit of self-learning and only sweet bed. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.